So welcome. My name is Pastor Sarah Merchant. I have the great privilege of serving this Church of Stevensville United Methodist Church. I was um, lucky enough to know Anna since July of 2019, and I humbly come before you as just one of many who have become her family, the chosen family, the family she chose, and thus we chose her back. And so you represent these people. You represent all of the ways in which her heart has been uh, encouraged and lifted up, where she could turn to when she was in, in the midst of despair, and the ways in which she could find um, healing and solace throughout her life. There will be an opportunity later on to share some stories uh, about how you knew Anna or something that comes to mind. And there will be also opportunity afterward to the extent that you want to be um, outside in the Montana weather to just share with one another. This is a unique service in that we are, are seeking it. We are the ones that are uh, creating it. We are the ones who said, yes, it matters, let us gather. Her family, uh, specifically her brothers and sisters, are in Wisconsin, and they will come out um, in August around Creamery Picnic and be able to see the communities, the um, high country, and the school and the church that she was a part of. Um, so I hope that you might uh, intersect them when they when they visit. But know that you are holding that place for them and for all of those who may or may not be able to, who were not able to come today. We are recording this service and it will be available on YouTube through our, our church's web, uh, YouTube channel. So if you know someone and want to put it out there, you can do that. That's a long introduction to just say welcome. Welcome to this service. Welcome to this time when we celebrate Anna Storkson's life, that we remember this spunky, merciful, justice-oriented and loving daughter of God who offered herself so fully in her life to her family, her friends, and her community. It was her steadfast faith and love that imbued each of us with an indelible song that could guide us in our friendship our work and our connection with God. So as you come, you're welcome in this space. However you know God, however you receive grace, however you know love, that is what we are here today to experience and know as we celebrate Anna's life. So be nourished. You're invited to be comforted among this fellowship of friends. And despite the cold, this is the just right time to gather our hearts. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, we thank you for your beloved child, Anna, and the ways that she made her mark in the world. In the complexity of life that energized and empowered Anna, and also caused her great suffering, we recognize Anna's beautiful contribution to life through her friends, her contributions to the community, her delight in what is good and right, her songs, and her faithfulness as a follower of Christ. The stories of Anna's life have woven beautifully in the various tapestries of our lives for which we offer gratitude. May these strands of color and life give us solace and hope in the weeks to come as we continue to remember and love Anna who has gone before us. We pray in your holy name. Amen. Well, as we are aware, Anna did love song, and this song, Blessed Assurance, was one of her favorite. If you're not familiar with the words, the chorus is something that you could catch on to pretty quickly. It says, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Please sing as you're able. Uh, I'll sing the verses and then sing the uh, choruses as you're able with me. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, perfect purchase of God. Born in his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising 
praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect communion, perfect delight, visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. Filled with his goodness, lost in his love. Praising my Savior all the day long. Thank you. Amen. Hear these words from Proverbs chapter 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. I want to offer this opportunity this time to share a little story, a memory, some way that Anna marked your life, your heart. I know we could be here for days <laughs> to do that, but pick maybe your favorite, uh, one that stands out to you, and we can share them among, among the community. Does anyone have think, something that comes to mind? She lived with us in a small little cabin that we have on our property. And no rents were charged, at least not in dollars. But at that time, I chose to go back to school. And Anna was going to be my mentor through law classes. And she did. I don't know if anybody knows Anna's background, but she is very, very brilliant in so many different things. She helped me in my communications class, giving speeches. She helped me, she took me uh, down to the law library and, and then she showed me how to write. So Anna was uh, a big part of my life. And one of the things that uh, uh, I remember most is she would break into song during our study sessions. And one of the songs that she decided to, to sing was Post-its Notes from God. <laughs> something she made up. 
Um, I don't know if it ever came to fruition and out into the world, but I would love to hear someday the end of that song. <laughs> I'm so glad you brought that up. Uh, we'll, we'll use post-it notes later. <laughs> yeah. Any other stories? Yeah. I don't think I need that. Uh, any of you attended church, you would know where Gail and I sat in the back corner. And when it came time for him singing, well, I would do what I could. And every now and then, I would hear an angel behind me. And all I had to do was just shut up and let Anna sing. <laughs> and she carried that very well back there. And I sounded pretty good too, being quiet. <laughs> so. Thank you, Lynn. Others. Carolyn Simon and I work at the clothes closet on Wednesdays and she used to come during the summer and bring like ice cream sandwiches or any little treat for us because she knew we worked hard and it would get hot and then um last time she came she brought like two bags of all these granola bars and different things I like that. Sherry Fieser, and I got to know Anna about, oh, I don't know, 10 or 12 years ago when we attended the same church. And uh, then we kind of wove in and out of each other's lives for a while. And then, um, and I would see her around town, you know, because she was just always such a fixture. And then I was so pleased when she went to work at the cleaners because then I could see her all the time. And I would say to my husband, I'm going to go to the cleaners to pick things up, and he would know that it was going to be a while because I would just pull up, right, and, and turn off my engine. And um, if I ever wanted to be encouraged or someone to ask me about my life or my day, uh, Anna would do that. She very rarely wanted to tell you about her own life. She wanted to know all about you. So she was just this lovely spirit of a person. Uh, yeah. Thank you for that window into her essence and her character. Anyone else? You can all hear me, I'm sure. But yeah. just to emphasize, she really, really was an angel. this congregation and also a dear friend of Anna. She can't be here. Um, she's soaking up the warmth south, <laughs> in the south of us, but I wanted to offer um, her words. <clears throat> From Hazel Smith, all of us who loved Anna loved her singing. She sang with her whole self, body, mind, and spirit. She literally glowed when she sang, and she sang everywhere at karaoke night, at the High Country, at Stevensville Methodist Church, and the Baptist Church, for Betty Lowell and other patients every week at the nursing home, at the creamery picnic just walking down the street. My strongest memory of her will be of Anna singing Christmas carols at Super One while ringing the Salvation Army bell and bringing joy to a whole lot of tired, disgruntled shoppers. Her mom told her, when you sing, pray twice. I met Anna in 2001, shortly after she came here from Wisconsin to attend the University of Montana Law School. We became good friends right away, and we spent many a sunny day working in my garden or going camping, singing and sharing our life journeys and our faith. 
Anna said, God didn't promise me a day without trouble, but he promised me he'd be with me. Anna survived a lot of troubled days. Her neurological condition caused her pain, headaches, and occasional seizures, and left her feeling alone and isolated. A painful breakup and a decision not to pursue the legal profession led to depression and problems focusing on her work. Anna was homeless and without a car for some time. She cycled through a number of low pay jobs and survived with the help of her God, her many friends, and the food bank. Amazingly, Anna Banana kept on singing. Recovering from that difficult period, Anna got an apartment and two jobs she loved. She deepened her faith walk, sang, studied scripture, and preached a powerful sermon about her faith journey just two months before she died. Of course, a lot of it was in song. Precious Lord, take my hand, just a closer walk with thee. Oh Lord, you're beautiful, and of course, amazing grace. All of us here today grieve uh, her, um, our sudden loss of Anna, her sunny, beautiful face, her smile, her keen intellect, her loyal friendship, her comfort when we needed it, her example of endurance and faith. But most of all, I think, we will miss her amazing voice. Sing with the angels, dear Anna. You will make them sound so much better. We love you, and we were so blessed to have you in our lives. Thank you, Hazel, and thank you all for the ways in which you've shared your own stories and the ways she's intersected your life. Let me pray. God, we are not sure where we go from here sometimes, how we might engage in the world, and what we might do to remember our dear one, Anna. But God, we ask that you might come alongside us to do just that. Lift us up to experience what is true and good in the comfort of those who mourn. May we see the truth of new life found in family, community, church, and the character of honesty and loyalty, even as Anna helped us see these things through her own life. We are confident that what we learned from and loved of Anna and how we seek you will give us strength for the journey ahead. In your precious name we pray. Amen. As you're able, let us join in voice and in spirit in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I'd like to share two passages from the Gospel of John. The first one from chapter 10 and the second from chapter 17. Jesus answered, I told you, but you don't believe. Everything I have done has been authorized by my Father, actions that speak louder than words. You don't believe because you're not my sheep. My sheep recognize my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them real and eternal life. They are protected from the destroyer for good. No one can steal them out of my hand. The Father who put them there, the Father who put them under my care, is so much greater than the destroyer and thief. No one could ever get away from him. I and the Father are one in heart and mind. And now, chapter 17, this is where John, excuse me, in the Gospel of John, Jesus has surrounded himself with his disciples in the upper room this last night before his death. And he begins to pray for them. And this is part of his prayer. I ask not only on behalf of these, the disciples before me, but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one. As you, Father, are in me, and I am in you, may 
they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given them, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may become completely one, so that the world may know that you have sent me and have sent love and have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I desire that those also whom you have given me may be with me where I am to see my glory which you have given because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Holy, gracious Father, the world does not know you, but I know you, and these, these ones before me know that you have sent me. I made your name known to them, and I will make it known, so that the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. The word of God. Amen. Well, we've heard it, but I'm going to say it again. Anna sang. <laughs> she sang a lot. She sang beautifully, and her song rang out with sunshine and joy and thanksgiving. And yet throughout her life, only her soul, that good, pure, sweet, ever-burning, true, deep self within, had to keep the song alive. I think we get it because we know that we know what it is to be human, to endure the beautiful goodness of life and the rotten, debilitating, even hurtful aspects of life. And I still believe that Anna sang and continues to sing because in that song she expresses the very way she was one with God. She was in tune with God. When I think of having a relationship with God, being connected with the holy, I think I like the analogy of a tune, a sacred song of the Holy One. For you and for me, or for anyone to connect, we can simply sing in tune with that sacred song. We can sing in harmony, in unison, in a neat scat rhythm, if you know scat, <laughs> or with instruments. Whatever our gifts are, our personalities offer, and our courage evokes. Anna had lots of rhythms and instruments. A quick stop at the store to grab treats for those at the uh, free store a gentle conversation with folks at the Living Center, a spirited encouragement or karaoke song at High Country, and so much more. But her voice and song seem to be her favorite mode of living in tune with God. The desire to sing, to be in tune with God, flowed easily with Anna as I knew her the last couple years. And the more we talked and walked, I knew why. Her faith in God, a deep trust and assurance in the healing and freeing presence and purpose of the holy, empowered her beautiful harmony to God's tune. She listened, studied, embraced, and embodied the sacred song, one she particularly experienced in life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Jesus was not only in tune, but sang with one voice, the voice of God. Jesus was in unison, and therefore, you weren't quite sure where one started and the other stopped. The power of this song for Jesus' voice came from the Holy Spirit, the very breath that gave him song, sound, and tune. Jesus encountered people, systems, temptations that wanted to steal his song, wanted to change the tune of God in such a way that overwhelmed, stifled, even damaged his voice and the sacred side, his sacred side and those of so many people. But Jesus stayed in touch, listening carefully to the song and listening carefully to the song maker and the source of that breath of life. And with that resonant tune ever in his heart, body, mind, and soul, Jesus could stand with 
protect and heal, and set free the sacred songs in others. That is what it means to be one in God, one in Christ, one in the Holy Spirit, singing in tune with the holy, listening to the movement and attending to the rests and dynamics, inserting staccatos of praise and even low notes of help and lament. We might pause to reconnect, to hear or retune, to, uh, to hear anew or retune to God. And we do this with our unique voices, talents, personalities, and gifts, allowing the essence of the tune to guide us and ground us. As we each lifted up our prayers and memories for this dear one, Anna, I pray that we continue to hear her harmony to God's song. May we even be so courageous and joy-filled, humbled and thankful to sing along with our own harmonies. If ever I knew one that made me want to sing, want to shine, want to extend God's love, even when I'm mourning, it's Anna. May the grace of God help us hear the sacred song and become one with it as Anna has become one. Amen. I'm so grateful for your memory of Anna's song, Post-it Notes from Heaven. That was uh, something that I heard for the very first time when I came in July. She offered it as a special music to us. And while I can't quite remember all of the pieces of it, Post-it Notes from Heaven was um, this beautiful reminder to her to sort of keep it simple, but to also um, hold that post-it note at, in front of you as a way of um, guiding your next step, right? We use post-it notes to give us a to-do list or maybe a reminder. And for Anna, those post-it notes were a reminder of how worthy she was, how beautiful she was, how loved she was by God. And so in honor of that uh, song, in honor of that testament, I have some post-it notes of various colors. And as a way that we might offer a prayer, uh, we might offer something of thanksgiving, maybe we even say what we miss about Anna. I'm going to invite you to take a post-it note now or at the end and then stick it up on this board here. We'll take a picture of it and uh, be able to put it on our Facebook page, send it to family and anyone who wants. But to know that that post-it note from heaven can still be a tangible reminder for us today, now, of how God moved in and through Anna and thus into our lives. So that's an invitation for you now, as always. You might want to do it as we sing our final song, which is going to be You Are My Sunshine. I'm not sure if this is a karaoke favorite, but I bet there are plenty of us who know it. So let's sing the chorus twice and um, and we will we will sing we'll sing the sun out again. Here we go. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. that you might sing with it now and always. 
go in God's peace. Amen.